I guess we already knew that FCA SRT division was going to have to revitalize their product because after the uh, Chrysler 300 basically wasn't continued in America for the 2015 model year, they pretty much only had the Challenger, the Charger, and the Jeep SRT. Then they had to discontinue the Dodge Viper, which was an absolute waste of time. And I'm going to keep saying it because I always get these assholes who want to argue with me when I say that Dodge FCA would have done better by upgrading the Magnum. Because the thing about it is the Magnum never really had a chance to succeed. Back when we had that uh, financial crisis and all these car companies had to start dropping products, the Magnum never got a chance to get the Pentastar V6. It never got a chance to get the 8-speed. It never got a chance to get the Uconnect Touch. Basically, the Magnum would have been exactly what you get out of a Charger except it would have had that larger back space. And I see a lot of Magnum still rolling around. And the Viper, I, I, this is what happens when you have stupid car enthusiasts trying to run everything like they're so fucking smart. Basically, they built the car without an automatic transmission, and its sales went through the goddamn floor for a very simple reason. It's because the vast majority of these people can't drive a freaking stick. They just can't do it. I can drive a stick, but a lot of people just can't do it. Furthermore... When you want to make sales, you have an automatic. Bottom line, nobody gives a shit how well these cars drive. Nobody gives a shit how well they take a goddamn turn. Nobody cares. They just want to be able to get in the car, drive the car. They want to be able to let their wife drive the car. They want to be able to let their kid drive the car without killing themselves. But see, these stupid audio, the auto enthusiasts, they don't know any better because they're stupid. And the reviewers, the professional reviewers that are driving around these shitty Volkswagens because they can't even afford the cars they're reviewing. That's what, that, those are the people I really hate. But anyway, these people think... That it's as simple as putting a, a manual in a car and dropping some weight. Meanwhile, you're sliding all around the road because you can't even get traction. So anyway, the reason why I'm posting this picture is because, like, for Fast and Furious 8, another movie was just going to suck. Because the only good Fast and Furious movies were the first and the fifth one. The other one sucked. So anyway, this movie's going to suck. But it looks like they have leaked the demon Maybe by accident, maybe on purpose, but they, as you can see in this picture, they have um, a Dodge Demon, obviously, because when you even look at the Hellcat badge, you can tell that that's not a, a regular Hellcat. You could tell that that badge must be the Demon badge, and obviously you see from the hoods on these things that this is obviously the Demon. From what I've heard, it's 200 pounds lighter than the Hellcat Challenger. And it has more power than the Hellcat Challenger, although that hasn't been finalized. It's obvious that this is this engine, they're going to keep using this engine because it's relatively inexpensive, it's easy to produce, it's easy to tune, it's easy for aftermarket tuners. It makes lots of sense to just keep reproducing this engine. It, it just makes sense. So apparently this is what the thing is going to look like, which is nothing different than what I already knew it was going to look like. A wide-body Challenger, basically. And, um... Basically, that's it. So, well, that's what we have to look forward to. Now, the real car that I don't really care about Challengers. I mean, they, they look cool and everything. I'd never buy one personally. It's the Jeep Trackhawk that I'm waiting for. And I have some insiders who were telling me about, um, basically, about the uh, automatic transmission and the um, transfer case that they're developing and everything. But nothing is absolutely official. Nothing's final until it's actually official or final. So all we can do is just keep on waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. And from what I'm hearing, it's possible that the Dodge Demon is going to run on regular gasoline and it's going to have a possible uh, ability to run on ethanol. And as you know, ethanol is used, you know, in these drag racing and everything because they can get a lot of power out of ethanol. And the only problem is, you know, with regular gasoline engines, ethanol, because it has alcohol, it draws water into the engines and sometimes corrodes components. So obviously this thing is going to have lots of work done to its tubes and all of its lubricants and whatnot in order to adapt it so that anybody can just pour ethanol in there and be able to use it. That's going to be nice to see. But me personally, I'm really interested in the Jeep Trackhawk, and I wish they'd hurry up and show me, you know, something. You whet my appetite. Just show me what the hell it's going to look like. Give me a teaser. Give me something, you know. But other than that, um, so far it looks so good, and um, that's just what it is. So as you know, um, it's coming 
Now, I don't know what the take rate is going to be because I know that the uh, Dodge Challenger Hellcat has sold very well. The Challenger outsells the Charger. And um, I believe the best-selling SRT product is actually the Jeep SRT. But the uh, Challenger pretty much outsells the uh, Charger in whatever market it's in simply because of that retro look. So basically, you know, guys who are like 50 and 60 who couldn't afford one of these cars when they were my age, you know, now they can get one and they have state-of-the-art technology that allows them to basically drive like a badass without wrapping themselves around a pole. Now, me, I'm only 35, and I'm able to afford cars like this, and um, I just wish they'd hurry up, man. I want that Trackhawk. I want it bad. I love I love Jeep. I really do. I always love Jeep, and um, I just can't wait. So, you know, it's coming, and obviously, you know, I'm going to be one of the first people to have a video driving the things. So, um, you know, just just keep your fingers crossed and pray.